Well, hi kids. Guess what? It's Santa Claus here. Did you recognize me? Huh? <laughs> and I'm going to read you a little story here today. And it's called The Broken Ornament. Jack wanted this to be the best Christmas ever. I want more decorations, he said. That way Santa will see our house first. His father chuckled. Well, you've certainly got the Christmas spirit. But it wasn't enough. Something was missing for Jack. Let's get a bigger tree, he said. This tree is just fine, said the mother. But Santa needs more room underneath to leave more presents. It was Christmas Eve. The house was decorated, the cookies were baked, and the tree had been trimmed. Yet Jack still felt like something was missing. He ran into the room holding a dusty old box. Look, I found more ornaments. His father sighed. I think we're finished decorating. Jack opened the box. The lone ornament lay nestled inside. Not that one, the mother said. But Jack didn't listen. The ornament hit the floor, shattered into a million glittery pieces. Jack, Marshall, look what you've done. It's just a junky old ornament, Jack replied. We'll get another one. No, we can't. His mother said as she went upstairs, Jack's father grabbed a box of tissues and followed her. Jack knelt down, inspecting the shards. It was only an accident, he muttered, in a swirl of shimmering, frothy, and tiny figure form. Are you my fairy godmother, Jack asked. A bubbly voice replied, Godmother? Oh, no. They don't trust me with a wand. They call me Tinsel. So, do you grant wishes? Jack leaned. What is it that you wish for? Tinsel replied. A smile curled in the corner of her mouth like a candy cane. I want the best Christmas ever. Then let's deck the halls. Tinsel tossed a handful of glitter into the air. Every fleck of the glitter turned into a snowflake. She took a sprig of mistletoe and it pearls and berries come dropping to the floor. From each berry, an enormous Christmas tree burst through the floorboards. Then Tinsel tapped her tinkly bells. The front door flew open. A trio of caroling elves paraded inside, followed by a herd of reindeer, an army of nutcrackers, and a rowdy bunch of snowmen. More and more, Jack cheered. Is this merry enough, Tinsel asked. Jack's house was the most Christmassy in the whole town, probably even the whole world. But somehow... Something was still missing. A shiny fragment caught Jack's eye. Tinsel, can you get Mom a new ornament? No can do, Tinsel replied. I can give you every ornament in the North Pole, but I won't replace the one you broke. Why not, asked Jack. Tinsel fluttered near a gingerbread house and began to glow from within. Take a look, sugar plum. Jack peered through the frosty frame window to see a little girl hanging the ornament he had broken. When she was young, your mother's favorite holiday tradition was trimming the tree with her grandma. Jack could hear his great-grandmother's voice. I've had these since I was your age. She handed over a box of ornaments. Now they're yours. That was great-grandma's ornament, and I broke it. Jack looked at all the things the fairy had brought. Somehow it was too much and yet not enough. I wanted this to be the best Christmas ever, and now it's the worst. Can you fix it, Tinsel? There's only one person who can make that kind of Christmas magic, replied Tinsel. Santa, asked Jack. No, you. So Tinsel tweaked her eye, you silly reindeer. Like a wish from of the north wind, an idea rushed into Jack's head. He grabbed pencil, paint, and paper and set off to work. He heard his parents' footsteps on the stairs. In the blink of an eye, Tinkle's winter wonderland melted away. Time for bed. His mother's voice was soft. Santa will be here soon. Wait, I have something for you, Jack said. I'm sorry I broke your ornament. His mother opened her gift. Aw, oh, Jack, what's this? It's your grandma giving you the ornaments. Jack's mother looked closely. But how? How do you know? Christmas magic, Jack said. Oh, Jack, I love it. His mother hung the ornament at the top of the tree. Jack's heart felt so big, no amount of wrapping paper could hide it. Finally, it was the best Christmas ever. So it became the best Christmas because he did something that made his mother real happy. 
So that's a good thing to remember because when Christmas gets here, you know, it's fun to get all those gifts and everything. But boy, if you can do something for somebody that makes them happy, that makes it the best Christmas ever.